a flutter quartz crystal from the Arts and Villa Mine, Messina, South Africa. But first of all, let me take you through the the uh, edges going around like this. Now, have a look at reflections to give you an indication of crystal form. Very, very interesting crystal form. And of course, that's one of the things of these Messina quartzes. They, they do form the most weird and wonderful crystal forms, uh, often even a shard-like formation. But in this case, a atypical crystallization of the quartz across the top, multiple uh, heads with uh, almost a blush of, of course, the hematite inclusion in the top here. And then uh, around the rims, have a look at the reflections over there. Of course, not very easy to photograph. Um, because they are pretty, pretty, uh, uh, sort of a cloudy to, to, to clear crystals. Now, when we look into the body of the crystal, it's actually partially see-through, as I said a minute ago, cloudy to clear. Uh, let me just see if I can get it back in focus. Tiny crystal sitting around the edge over there. And let's have a look at the other side. There would be, of course, a healthy dusting of some epidote sitting across here, little bits of epidote running across these over here. See if we got crystallization, if I can show you reflections over there. Very, very abstract crystallization. And of course, with the Messina quartzes, we always look for the, the elusive Agioite and Papagoite. So we look for the color. Now, there seems to, to me to be a little bit of bluish, but it's most likely gray from the hematite inclusion. Um, you can actually zoom into the still pictures and have a closer look. Let me see if I can if I can give you a color indication going closer onto the specimen. And size-wise here we're looking at a palm size, a pretty, pretty good size. Actually a lovely piece. And what, what makes me, what, what's so appealing about this piece to me is this this interesting, which doesn't photograph well at all, this interesting termination sitting on the top there multiple terminations running out of one crystal, surely there's an esoteric term for that too.